back up here again. It's just too nice. Look at this view though. How could you not like it? Yes guys, uh, back up on the roof. It is Friday the 24th of August. Um, I'm just getting ready for work. I've got two clients this morning. As you guys know, on a Friday, I don't train too many people. So I've got Matt first, I've got Dan afterwards, and then I'm gonna go and train, but at a different gym today. Usually you see me train at the gym where I work, um, but I'm gonna go to a different one now over in Sidcup. So different environment, different people, and it's good to get on different pieces of equipment sometimes. Just switches up your workout. So today I'm gonna be taking you through my chest and tricep workout what exercises I'm doing, what equipment I'm using and why. And I've also got some exciting stuff that I'm doing this weekend as well. It's still kind of my birthday month, so <laughs> celebrating all the way throughout. Um, but yeah, I've got to do these clients first and then training later. Excellent, and again. Whip. There we go, tuck them knees up, come on. Let's get two more. There's one. Right, come on, energy now all the way up. Come on, big jump. Good. Remember, tense the stomach into the wall, weight into the heel, and just literally holding that. Do not drop it, okay? Six, carry on. Seven, last three reps. Keep the weight in the heel for me. One. There you go. Two, last one. All right, so hopefully you like some of them quick clips there from my client sessions. Uh, I've just pulled up at the gym. Just gonna head in now and get started with my chest and triceps workout. Looking forward to this. Uh, Friday's always a good time for me to train. It's like end of the week, last workout for me personally. Um, and yeah, chest Fridays, always chest Fridays. The gym that I'm training at today is David Lloyd's in Sipa. Uh, show a quick round. Bench press here, weights, fountain, squat racks and stuff all the way over there. More weight stuff here. Benches, uh, all the other benches around there, dumbbells around the back, and we've got some machines all through here as well. But all in all, though, good gym, got exactly what you need. All the David Lloyds are wicked, not just because I work there. But to be fair, I'm not actually going to take you through the whole like, workout today because one, I've already done a chest workout that I filmed. I'm just going to show you little clips of what I'm doing today. Um, but yeah, around 12 uh, reps on each exercise, three, four sets. But not a run through, just a few clips. That's it. Plus, coming in feeling fresh today. I've got some new physique apparel stuff. It's looking good. Shorts and that's like a good fit. You know when you come in the gym, you just feel good with what you're wearing. That's what it's all about. Putting in work. now workout is done the chest biceps and triceps absolutely knackered i think you saw all the clips there uh yeah i'm gonna literally give you a little physique update and i'm gonna go refuel 
You're watching Sky News at 2 o'clock. The headlines today. The daughter of a British couple who have died in a hotel in Egypt tells Sky News she believes there is something suspicious about their deaths. Scotland's former first minister goes to court over harassment allegations against him, which he denies. So, just feeling quite full, pumped up there, arms as well. As I said, I'm still holding around uh, seven or eight percent body fat, so everything's coming in, but so trying to keep as much size uh, as possible. Yeah, so looking good is where I want it, so happy so far. Just aiming to get a little bit bigger. So, something to be really careful of, right? You see all these protein shakes that you'll get at like your gyms. You always, always, always need to look at the back at the nutritional information and see which ones are high in sugar, high in protein, because there's a lot of hidden stuff that you wouldn't usually think. For example, this one here, this got 30 grams of protein. When you look on the back, it's actually got 12, I don't think you can see like grams of sugar. So if you divide that by four, which will give you the teaspoons of sugar, it's actually got three teaspoons of sugar in it, um, which is probably more than you think. Now on the other hand, if you grab this one, this one's got a whopping 53 grams of protein. But when you look on the back, in this whole bottle, it actually has 41 grams of sugar in it. So that's like basically over 10 teaspoons of sugar in that one protein shake. So if you're looking to get lean, you're not aiming to put on too much fat, I wouldn't be having any protein shakes that have really, really high sugar content. So always make sure you look on the back. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one, uh, but yeah, make sure you always check it. All done now at the gym. Finished up my protein shake. I'm now going to see my mum. I uh, haven't seen her in about a week or so, so I'm popping around hers just to grab some food and stuff, catch up. Gonna be on my way there now, uh, and then just chilling a little bit later on. Whoa. Let's go on a road again. Hey! Bye! See you soon. pretty tired to be fair um, that is it for this week's vlog I had a great weekend good session training work was good the festival was great I was with a load of my friends and I've also put in my new braces today I'm halfway through my braces treatment so I don't really feel like doing too much talking it hurts uh, like comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also follow me on Instagram lean with Luke I'll see you in next week's vlog